Hi guys, so I decided that I was going to do a nail tutorial today. Um, I believe it's going to be a um, Valentine's Day nail um, paint design. Um, I'm opening my acrylic so that I can stick the artificial nail here into the finger. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, I've already soaked my brush thoroughly and got all the air bubbles out, so I'm going to take a little bit of my monomer. Actually, I'm going to take quite a bit of my monomer. And I'm going to dip them into my powder here. Five dips because I want a pretty dry bubble. I actually use uh, odorless acrylic. I'm sorry, odorless monomer. So it takes a few more minutes to set up, but I'm going to slide that nail under there, and there we have it. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what you're going to need for this design is a spotter brush, and it's this, this type of, not a spotter, I'm sorry, a striper brush. It's very long and thin, um, and that's going to make our zebra stripes. And then I'm using this spotter here. That's the brush brand and size. Hopefully I'm holding that correctly. Let's see if I can get it closer. Okay. And it's a very, very small tip. Okay. And that's going to help us with our leopard prints. The colors I'm using today is this hot pink type color and it's called Warhol the brand is color club and I'm using color club um, modern pink I'm also going to be using the OPI top coat and I'm going to be using Sashvit, um clear base coat so I'm going to take the base coat and We've already prepped the natural nail. Um, by prepping, I mean a manicure. You want to make sure all of the um, cuticle is off of the nail. Otherwise, you'll have um, peeling of the colors. The lacquer won't stick to the, to the nail, to the skin, rather. So, there we go nice and easy you should always use a base coat anytime you do um, a coat of polish you should definitely use a base coat under it so, to prevent staining and when you take off your polish it'll actually it'll be better it, it's easier to take off when you have a base coat under there so we're gonna let this dry a few seconds and then I'm gonna come back in and um, I don't think it needs all right, guys, so the nail is now dry enough, and we're going to continue on. We're going to take the darker of the two pinks. It's called Warhol. We're going to open this up, and we're going to take our nail, and you're going to get a little bit of paint on the very edge of the brush. Now, we're just aiming to do the very top edge of the nail, so we're going to just make a bunch of funky-looking spots. Okay, so now I'm going to use my little striper brush and I'm going to get some of that black paint right there. I'm going to spread that around. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your little spotter brush and you're going to paint just real jig jag looking, um, uh, not very uniform stripes and dots around what you've done with the dark colors so now with the same brush I'm gonna take the black paint and I want to paint a very jagged edge 
so I'm going to go like this and just pat my brush up and down the side like this so that it looks very jagged. Okay. Once that's finished, I'm going to use the black paint to fill in this whole area down here. And we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. And... We're going to take our striper brush and we're going to run it across the white inside of your little dish quite a few times because you want to make sure that it's fully loaded with paint. And then you're going to, I want my stripes to run up this way. I'm left handed so it might look a little backwards to you guys. I'm going to use my pinky to steady my finger. I'm going to angle my brush downward almost facing completely down and I'm going to lay it on the finger. I'm not pulling at all yet. I'm going to pull and wiggle and let it go. And you probably hear my dog. And this is what we have. I'm going to see if I can get that close enough for you guys to look. Okay, so what we want to do to make this more of a um, Valentine's Day nail is I took out some of these little rhinestone hearts. I'm not sure if you can see that really well. But I have one red one and I have a few pinks because I'm not sure how many I'm going to need um, at this point. And I have some white, um, I believe they're 1mm, they're very, very tiny. Um, rind, flat back rhinestone. Okay guys, so I'm back and the paint is fully dry now. And we're going to take our top coat and we're going to run it over top of the design. Now I cut the video because I did this a few minutes ago and I went and smeared everything because it wasn't dry so I had to redo it. Alright, so you want to make sure that you get a lot of paint, a lot of um, clear on your brush and just let it fall onto the nail really thickly thickly is that a word really thick coat of clear on the nail and then you're going to take your dotting tool which I have over here and you're going to just touch oops I'm using the wrong side you're going to just touch that to get a little bit of stickiness on your dotting tool you're going to grab up your little heart here and lay it on the nail and I'm going to slide it to the middle because that's where I want it. So there's the one. I'm going to pick up a clear round and I'm going to put it next to that one. I'm going to pick up another, I need to get a little bit more stickiness on my thingy here. I'm going to pick up another one, white round, and set it right next to that one on the line. And then I'm going to pick up a pink heart, and I'm going to put a pink heart over here. And we want to turn it to make sure that the pink heart is up and down pink heart and then I'm going to take another pink heart and put it on this side and I think I can fit one more white jewel on the other side of the pink heart on both sides Perfect. So that's how you're going to get this nail design. My Valentine's Day design. One of them, anyway. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.